Ah, let's get started here. I got a, another U.S. box, post office box door, and it's completely different from this one that I show. The back is different on this one, and it's also different from this one that I showed in another video where the knob is broken. And the back's a two different dial lock system. Let me just show this real quick. that one aside and this one is a two digit two number two letter dial see that one's completely different um, I might have to come back to this one to show it again but that's on another channel I'll probably try to put a link to that one and this one's a three code on this one. And uh, Mr. Guy, he, the only reason why I'm making this video is because this gentleman showed me his post office box door and his cat jumped on the tray and everything went flying everywhere. Both similar. This is just a two-digit combination. This one's a three-digit. Uh, the glare's kicking in. This has got three. They're similar, but this one's three. This one's a two. Well, enough of that. Let's get into this. Hopefully I can record this once and not have copyright infringement on this music I have in the background. Scratch this whole video. Alright. I want to take this off. There's the um the keys, the tumbler, the dial, however you want to call it. There's a spacer with the groove, with the groove, or a key, keyway. There's the tumbler. And then there's a spring in behind this. And the way to put these back is reversed from the way I showed this one. But they still, let me take this key out. This, let's see, this flat spot right here needs to be able to engage this part of the arm. See how this flat spot is? It'll be reversed in this cup. Once you put it in, it's uh, reversed. So whenever you put your stack of gears in, then you put this on top, on back, um, that flat spot will be in the way, or not in the way, but it'll be lined up correctly. And you can change the combination. I didn't see the picture on this on his other on the other door. trying to say you just pick this gear up rotate it and then you'll be able to figure out the combination once you put it all back together and you'll see through this little hole uh, where those flat spots will line up see it'll it's like a little peekaboo viewing window well, this is only a two gear. Here's this one. So a two gear combination. I am not sure what this little lever is for. I saw in his picture, in Guy's picture, that you can lift this up. 
Let me open the door. Wait. Let me open the door. Oh. Pushing on the wrong ones. This lever comes up and this part comes out. I'm not exactly sure what it's for. And there's the gear. There's also a spring right here. I don't want to go too far in taking this apart and then ruining something. That just goes back together that way. And I'll just put this back from. The original code was this other way because I had marked it. But anyway. You put your gear back like so. Get the cup. Uh, what would it be? The spring, the gear, a spacer, then the gear. I think is the way it would go on your uh, on the other post office box door. I'm going to put this back carefully so it lines up and I just made a boo-boo okay stay in this will be the fun part of trying to put this door back together hopefully everything lines up How does that look? Seven minutes in. Okay, seven minutes in. Last time I took it apart, put it back together, this combination was a five, and then in between two. So if you move it to five, it, see the window? See it? See that one gear on the top? Okay. I'll rotate this back in between two and three. See that? I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It won't. The gears are in place. Turn the knob. The door opens. Let me do that again. Skip this real quick. Okay, this one was a five, then, and then in between two. Let's see if it'll show. It opens the door. All right. Hopefully this will help out, guy. On this U.S. post office box door, if you do Google U.S. post office box doors, there's a lot of them on there. U.S. post office box doors. There are a whole bunch of them on Google Images. Two dials, single dials, large doors, small doors. Old ones, new ones from back in 1886 all the way up until there's keys. That's what the most modern ones are, keys. There's the banks, they're in wood. There's a picture of the other one that probably the guy's got. Anyway, it's already 10 minutes long. Thank you everyone for watching this and I'll see you on another one.